two, three, four, five. All right, we're back for part three. I bet you're wondering what the random counting is at the beginning. It's pretty much since I'm recording the video and my voice in two different programs, it makes it a lot easier to, you know, sync up the sound and the video together if I make some counting thing like that. So, wasn't I supposed to get brave from saving August? I thought I was. Whatever. I know you get brave from saving the Stadio, and I guess you get brave from beating Algus after like four or five turns. I don't remember. Anyways, so last video we um, what did we do last video? We did Dorder. We did other things. We bought all the stuff we need. I don't think I need to look or check out anything right now. Let's just jump into the next battle right now. Um, I don't know, I already feel like I've run out of things to say. Uh, it's hard doing an LP, I don't see how people do it. I mean, it's kind of fun, but seriously, I don't see how people do it. This battle should be another easy battle. It's going to be just me and Delita auto-potioning it up and taking out everyone. The lead is a monk now. He doesn't know any monk abilities, though. I definitely want him to have Wave Fist. That'll be a good thing to have. And... I don't think he'll be able to get enough to get Earth Slash, but if he does, that would be good to have as well. I'm debating if I want to go in with Algus or with Delita. I might go in with Delita, because I'm already closer over there. Let's just see how they both go in and see how things go. And both being patient and waiting, not charging in. Smart, smart. I wish Vanilla had counter throw. Counter throw was actually a really good counter ability because no matter where you get hit, you could still throw back at them. So it made it a pretty useful ability. The counter attack was just right there. Close. Yeah, I'm gonna go on with Delita. So counter tackle is nice and all, but counter throw is better. I'm sure Algus can handle himself, right? Or maybe I should help him since he doesn't have auto potion like we do. We don't want to make our auto potion click. We just move him out of it. Or maybe we do. <laughs> no, we don't. They're definitely all ganging up on him. Probably was a bad choice. Yeah. It looks like the critical hit trend kind of stayed with us, huh? Because the last video, seriously, it was like so many criticals. <sighs> Did it come from me? Because I'm squishy. Did I already take damage? Or was that his health? That was his health. Yeah, it shows you right now. I guess I'll attack. And then run towards Algus to try and bring him back because it'd be nice to have him. Auto potion not activating isn't a trend. I know it's 70%, but. Oh, come on! He's like great compat. Good compat, like 40 hit. I don't think I can get past these knights alone. I mean, we have great defensive abilities, but we don't. Oh, he has potion. You know, I'm just gonna say screw Algus for now and help Delita. Um, man, I really don't know. I'm gonna 
do. I'll get some potion, er, the lead up potion. Wait, what is? Save CT and let them come to us. No, I was thinking this battle would be easier, but it's looking like it's going to be a little bit different. We don't have very much. Offensive output, although we have great defense. So these are gonna make these battles longer and then having regular game speed also. It's gonna be some long videos. So what's this guy's move? Three. Three. So So I'll hit him, run away. Good, good combo damage. But maybe instead of him having good combat with everyone, he just had bad combat with that one monk, which is why it was such a low. Oh! Another crit. I don't know. I guess today is just a day of crits, since I did all last part of this one today also. I seriously am curious to what the percent of a critical hit is. Oh yeah, and I did end up decide to stay air air? Yeah. As opposed to switching to Pisces. I figured Seriously, critical hits. Anyways, I figured that's okay. I was gonna say if that was a critical hit and he died. He doesn't have weight fist, does he? Okay. What was I saying? I was talking about the Zodiac, right? But I decided to stay Aries as opposed to going to Pisces. I mean, Pisces has already been done, and I haven't heard about any Aries solo chemists, so I figured we'll see what other Zodiacs can be done with this. So, since we're over here, I guess I can bring back Algus. But if I do run into problems, whatever. I just want to be curious more of how far I'll actually be able to get in this, since I'm not using a recommended Zodiac, that'll make things a little bit more interesting, as opposed to thinking, I know it's possible, I'm gonna have to find out if it's possible myself. Of course, if I tell myself it's possible, I'll believe it's possible and then do it, right? Kind of a determination thing, if I think it's impossible, I won't be able to do it. Yeah, we're just gonna slowly work our way towards Algus. And then we'll just give him a few down. Wow, the Lita is strong. I don't know, Monk Delita was a good choice. Auto potion. Alright, I was worried about my health, but that made everything good now. We run into some more people with crazy names. Because they have some crazy names in this one. I was just reading a topic on Game Facts about that and all the crazy names. Or sometimes where you get ironic names. Oh, he can't reach me. Oh, he's going to the leader. That confuses me. I'm the squishy one. I guess the leader's more squishy now that he's a monk, right? Stuff. Potion. 
using up all my potions. They're my potions to drink. I need them. Hi, precious. But I think there's an item there in that spot where Algus is right now. I checked the move find list earlier. Full health, Algus. I think it's time for me to go on the offensive as well. Not let Delita get all the fun. Oh, this dude needs to die with his potioning. He's gonna be an issue. Oh no, just a couple of auto potions not working can be direly bad. As I just predict things going direly bad. from here though. Kim is such a powerful support job. What's the leader gonna do? Uh, you know front shots are bad. What's Algus gonna do? I'm genuinely curious to what the heck that was about. So I have two knights, a monk, and an archer. And Alga is doing nothing, and Delita doing the best he can to fend off everyone. Auto potion not working, giving us just a wee bit of a problem. We need auto potion. Ah, uh, no one else can hit him though, so there's no combo damage. Algus, seriously. I'm alive though, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Delita can get out now. Seriously! Algus, what was the point of me bringing you back if you're not helping anyone? Ugh. Why did I even waste my Phoenix down on that guy? So yeah, he has good combat with him, that's why he hurt so much. battle is just annoying me with missing stuff and all this other stuff. This archer is going to go after me again. <sighs> At least it didn't add any extra damage, but still. I'm like... I don't even know what to say with all these people. This guy's been fisting it anymore. I'm just annoyed right now. All these crits. And Algus. Do something. There you go. I didn't give you five movement. Or nothing. And I'm definitely worried about Delia. I think he's gonna end up being okay though. I wanna take out this monk since he has item. Oh come on! Ugh. Today is just not my lucky day. Alright, maybe it is my lucky day. They both shielded it, so we're good. See, stupid, best combat thing. So if we attack him, he's gonna just potion, but if we leave him, okay. Where am I help at? I'm full. Front shot this guy. The 
Hopefully that can maybe catch him off. I don't even want to comment on that anymore. <laughs> oh, he's still potioned himself. I might as well attack him. We need to take out that guy. He's just annoying. Yeah, the leader can take combo damage for this guy. How come I'm not getting any of these critical hits though? Why didn't you side shot him? I don't know. I don't understand anything Elgus does. I don't think he does anything smart. Yeah, we pretty much got this battle though now. I'm gonna take out this archer because this archer has just been a pain in my butt. it wasn't another critical hit. I mean, he's already gotten like three or something. I'm guessing Algus is gonna potion. He's kinda low on health. Alright. If I can get another turn for that, I can get Why didn't you do a side shot? Oh, dash. Okay. Dash is like target. Target was cool in one point. Yeah, I want to take out this archer. He's been annoying. Me. And he dodges. And now he's gonna go after Algus. So Algus is gonna run away. Oh, Algus is gonna die. I'm not bringing you back this time. Wasted like three turns. Just standing around. Seriously, not bringing you back. Not wasting my Phoenix Downs. Not at all. He's not gonna Phoenix Down, is he? Oh, he doesn't know Phoenix Down, okay. So we're cool. So yeah, that's pretty much this battle. Just take out this guy. Wait, wait, no, wait. We don't want to wait. Looks like my sh shield for Delito is actually helping him though. All right, I dodged a front shot. Feels so close. doing now. Okay. I got a better ship. A moth flew in my room and now he's flying around in front of me and it's so annoying. Whatever. Ugh, this dude having potion. I sh definitely should have taken him out sooner. Run away. And I walk in and attack. Push him in critical. And then he's got a potion next round. If we got a critical hit, then that would help. But no, I'm, I don't want to win this right now. Should have gotten a little closer. I wish we had some way to like damage him more. Now that he's in this corner. better not turn into some long battle because he just keeps poking. 
Oh, it is, isn't it? We can't combo damage him because he's in that corner. Oh my goodness. I am so mad right now. If I could go and then delete a... Yes, move out of there. Yes, yes. So I'm going to attack and wait in place so that I can keep my... Get better CT. I better hit too. Get up! It was freaking 80! Come on! I should have moved in that corner so he couldn't, because now when he pushes, he's gonna go in there. We could have friggin' had this, but. Oh, okay. Double turn. Problem solved. That could have gone on a lot longer. It went on longer than it should have, anyway. Is Maluda next? I don't know. That battle was pretty easy. I'm gonna do the next one. I'm only doing two battles this video. Kind of tired, and I have work later. More story by Griff. Getting out of here. Showing his pro sword skills. We have Elmdor there. So they let them have Elmdor so that he can leave. Exciting story and plot twists. Or something. I really don't remember. All I remember is that there's church conspiracy type things and manipulation of the war. It's kind of strange because this happened right after a war, you know? Alright, so what things can we learn now? We're getting so much JP, but we have nothing to learn. Um, I guess. Nothing else. Right. And then I'll just do X potion and then the surge. Remedy. I mean, I don't think I need any of these status effects. Or anything. Or removal. I mean, I don't have any equipment that I carry that it breaks or is stolen. But I don't really need to switch to anything else, so it's like having it is kind of pointless. Um, her slash is 600, that'll be a while. I might just get Wave Fist and Chakra, and then he wouldn't need item anymore since he only has potion. We can learn Phoenix Down now. I don't want him to have Phoenix Down, because then he's just going to waste his time reviving. What's his face? Alcus. And I don't want that. Anything else for you to learn? You didn't get any squire thing in that work. Actually, yeah, throw stone. Alright, we're good now. Buy a couple more potions. Oh, they have rods. Ooh, red hat. And leather vest. Okay, okay. And mantle. And at least one of those. Get a couple more Phoenix down. So we got ten. Wow, they're expensive. And now we have no money. And now I can't even buy this equipment I wanted. Wait, I have stuff I can sell, don't I? Organize my items. Wait, how do you organize all that? Uh, how do you organize items? Dang, I seriously don't remember. Well, 
Well, forget it then. I'll just sell it as I go. No, no. I'm store. Sell. Shop. Sell. I want the buckler. Gone. Gone. I never really put that. Can I use that blind knife? We'll find out. I don't have ten leather hats. Do I get them from battles or something? Alright. So we got a good portion of money from all that. Just enough. Now let's see if I'll use that sword. Tax up. Is that blind knife good? It doesn't change anything, but it adds blind, so might as well. Alright, that's good. Save. And then we're gonna go to the castle. I hate that I have to do restarts and all that. This is why having save states would make things so much easier. Or running at 120 frames or whatever. But I'm probably going to be complaining about that this whole run. They really should have made ways to skip cutscenes or something. That's an important feature in games. Yeah, that's the save spot. Alright, let's try this again. We're going past the battle. I'm going to... here. Yes. We're going to save again in case we get another random battle we don't want. January 17th. Yes, yes. And another battle. Which means another load. And you can't, like, restart it when it's in black screen. It has to be, like, actual game screen. So that's, like, another, like, five to ten seconds of waiting or something. So it's just all around slow. And then one of these days, I'm sure I'm going to accidentally hit new game when I start through. Because I'm going to be mashing buttons so much. And then I'm going to be like, oh, and I'm going to restart again. And it's going to be all. You can already see that happening. All right, let's try getting past this again. I hope this just doesn't keep happening. I think it's like a 50% chance of getting into a fight. Is this when Teta gets taken? I love to see Zalbeck just rush out and like totally destroy that one guy. It's hilarious. I hope that's this scene. It's not. Talking to Dysodark. I love Dysodark's theme. It's very... brooding and well. Yes. And that's Lord. Yes, yes, I remember. <laughs> I remember in um, John John's SSCC at this part <laughs> when he's doing the commentary on the story. That was hilarious because he's like, and Darcy Dark's just like, okay. Because <laughs> that's totally what he's like. And it's just hilarious. I think this was the scene he was talking about. That was my favorite part of that SSCC so far. I wonder if he's beaten Quakelin yet. Or however you say that character's name. Probably not. Alright, so save. I was right about it being Marita. And no battle. Ah! Battle. 
I could fight it just so I can get some experience and stuff, but I definitely don't need it. And like I said, it would just be that endless cycle of fighting a battle or using potions to win a battle so that I can win money so I can buy potions. Although I think I would potions are only like 50. I think I would get more money than I'm there'd be a surplus of money, I'm saying probably. If I did fight a battle. I'm thinking cuz I mean if I got like 2000 in a fight and then a potions only 50. Oh, seriously? Ah, oh, this whole video is just going to be me restarting and loading. Being on console, it makes it a lot slower. But it makes it even more official than using an emulator, right? And you get to see the world map the whole time instead of that awkward black screen because EPSX just can't seem to get the map right or something. So, yeah. Console, it has its benefits. I guess. If I get a battle one more time, I might just stop the video here. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. I might do that. Alright, no battle. So save, and then we're gonna go in and destroy Meluda. Give Delita that buckler. Alright. Just like all the other fights, I'm not too worried about this. Having two characters with auto potion makes things fairly easy. So. I'm probably just going to try and take out, what's the strategy, take out the um, white mages first, and then just go for Maluda. I don't know how much the thieves are going to be a problem. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Maybe I should have put maintenance on, just in case. Just to save money and not have to rebuy things. say much about this battle. I don't know what to say about much of anything though, so far. Being this challenge just hasn't been super exciting or interesting yet. Was that 50? Wow! Monk Delita is amazing! And then everyone's leveling up faster since there's less characters. It was good to get them throw down. Wow, but seriously, did like 60. Was that a good combat or is this or is Delita just that strong? Raise. No raise. Yeah, I can definitely see how Monk Delita is good. I think it was a better choice than Summoner Delita. Because when you're doing this, you're basically relying on Delita. But you can either choose someone or Delita and giving him Shiva, and then Shiva does really well against Algus in the last battle in this chapter. Since it's a snowy place and Shiva gets boosted with snow damage. So But And if I were to do a time mage, I probably would have done someone or Delita just so I could get spillover when he had to be a time mage. Or possibly after he learned Shiva, just turn him into a time mage for the rest of the chapter one. Man, the lead is so strong. Then Aldis should finish him off. But he just has super buff monk PA boosting, destroying whatever this guarded. Right, Delita's just wrecking right now. 
proud to call him my friend. I want to take out that other white mage. but Algus is gonna be gone after this battle. I think. I don't remember Algus being around for Maluda too. Ow, that hurt. Alright, you're strong. You're painful. I wanna stay away from you. So I wanna kill this thief and Alita can something. I can't attack from the back and play two water though, so we're good. We can get the sight though, but he chose not to, so I wouldn't get healed. Why would you go after him? Seriously? I am getting so unlucky. I mean, all these 70 and 80% things missing are. I mean, we're so being so squishy. More critical hits. I don't even know what it is. It's like I'm in a critical hit vortex where critical hits are everywhere. Pretty good oh, But I guess not. There's still I was gonna get that and sell it.
what the cure was like. Was that? Or no, no, it wasn't. Okay. So let's just go for what we will. Let's get this battle over with. Take out the mage. Take out the. Wait, just. Raging fist. Wait, this. Whoosh. I don't know if that's what it said, but it makes it look all anime ish or something when they say the moves before they do them. Throw stone, or just walk up and come back from the side, which is much better. There you go. Alright, everyone's dead except for Maruda. The battle went a lot faster than I thought it would. Now I'm gonna run away because she's gonna hurt me. Actually, I don't need to run away. I can get behind her. I can't get behind her. Okay. Does it definitely want one water? Make me not be able to move as much? Because it's the trendy thing. You know. Guard when you have a and Algus is like, kill her, and we're like, no, and, and then we have to fight her later, later, and we're like, maybe we should kill her, because we end up killing her anyway, and then we feel bad, because we're not even wanting or trying to kill her, but they just refuse to not give up, so we have to kill her, uh, but thus is war, I guess, something, I don't know. And then Ramza and Lita still have consciences. August is just like, kill them all, kill them all, they're worthless, blah, blah, blah. So, oh, this is the scene I was talking about with Topic. Just runs out and like totally destroys that one guy. This is where the text takes like literally forever to come out. How do those people even get inside the castle? Seriously. <laughs> Best part ever. The chocobo is like, oh snap, I'm out of here. <laughs> I think that's solely the reason why I like Zelda, just because of that one scene. That's so awesome. story though. How come that castle is never like a location though? I always thought that was Egros in that cutscene. I guess we'll do the next story stuff just so we can get it out of the way. Unless we get a random battle and then we're gonna say screw it. Alright, we did it.
what is the next story stuff? Oh, this is when Algus leaves, isn't it? And, like, Delita, like, punches him in the face because he's a jerk. Algus, that is. So I guess Dysodar is a Lucubi this whole time. So is he just pretending to be hurt and all that? Because he was the one who killed their father, right? Poison? The mus fungus or whatever it's called, I can't remember. So is he just pretending to be hurt for manipulative purposes, I'm guessing? So Delete is all freaking out because his only family is kidnapped. And so we're like, we're gonna go save her. And Algus is like, oh, she's just some worthless low life. And then Delita punches him in the face. Like that. Pretty strong punch to knock him down. And so after that. Algus feels Joe. I don't know what Algus does. He leaves. He's like, screw it. And so he goes and learns auto potion so he can be cool like us because we know auto potion, but he's not as cool as us because he has like crappy faith. I mean, he had decent faith when he was with us. Why did his faith go down? Because he's a jerk. I think that's what it is. Being a jerk makes your faith go down. Or brave, not faith. His faith is still like in the 60s or 70s when you fight him. But his brave is only in the 30s. But as we've just seen, having 30% chances of stuff can still happen fairly often. So Algus is gone. And then we have our train to the fort. So let's do formation stuff. There's nothing new here, is there? Can we buy? Haha! -ha, I supposed we could. High potions. Which means our potions are not worthless. Well, I wouldn't say they're worthless, but we don't really need them that much. I'm just gonna keep the potions and let auto potion run them out. And then we'll um I don't want to buy too many of those. There's still going to be some armor and stuff we can get. So we're going to save and try and get to the next town so we can buy some stuff. But if we end up running into a random battle, I'll just cut the video there. And... Oh, there's a story. I forgot about that. Where they play the little grass, like, song things. They make music out of it. And stuff like that. You remember. It's like some random running theme throughout this game, because Ovelia does it, and someone else. I remember at least four people do it, maybe. Maybe not, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Or I'm just making something up in my mind. But isn't it nice to have a friend to just sit down and watch the sunset and play grass like a flute or something? Who was it that showed Ophelia how to do that? Was it Delita? I don't know. Someone had to. Alma, perhaps? I don't remember. Was that a perfect fifth? Oh no, a perfect fourth. With Delita's being the lower note. Yes, yes, music theory. I was a music major. Yep, I know these things. Sort of. Alright, let's see. Shop. Hopefully there's new armor? No, just red hat and... So nothing new. We have the blind knife. <coughs> we don't need the rods or anything. So, we don't need anything. So yeah, we're just gonna spend all, blow all of our money on my potions. And that's gonna do it. Well, actually, no. We can learn some more things. We got more. I don't know that. Can I 
just don't eat anything. Don't eat any of those. So, I'm just gonna save up for Elixir just because who cares? So we won't be learning anything else for a while. Monk Delita. Not enough for anything else. It'd be nice if you could have Chakra, but. Now I'll give you Phoenix down, so you'll be bringing me back, and bringing me back is more important than bringing Alka's back. But I don't have any kind of a chance of done, so... Yep. Well, yep, that's all we have for this rendition of Solo Chemist. So, we're gonna save, and then we'll call it a day. So... Don't mix too many potions in the lab there, my fellow chemists, and I'll see you next time.